And we are back with Jenny Moore, a senior travel advisor with Cruise Planners, talking about travel, giving helpful advice before you book your next vacation. And of course, we're taking your questions, 336-379-5775. So one of the questions was, all right, what about if you had booked a place to go and stay with your family to see some leaf peeping like on the Blue Ridge Parkway and now roads are closed and you can't get there. So you want to make sure before, when you actually make that reservation what the contract shows. Most of the time there is a clause that allows you out, but even then it's only going to give you a credit and not actually give you your money back. Again, this is a perfect reason that you want to have travel insurance. Travel insurance would actually allow you to get a full refund on most policies. So make sure you check that very carefully. Okay, and when we say travel insurance, this is like third party companies and there's different levels of that, whether it's medical or things of that nature. That is correct, yes. And not everybody thinks, especially of a domestic trip, of needing travel insurance. But you do, really, anytime you're leaving your home, you should seriously consider it because you, we just don't know what's going to happen, especially with the weather. Yeah, especially I think to myself, if you're going to like be renting like one of those big houses, people are putting a whole bunch of money in and you're talking about a couple thousand dollars. You don't want oh, to be yeah. out a couple thousand dollars. It's different than when you make a two hundred dollar flight. Right. Mm -hmm. OK. All right. So um, have your questions. We're going to answer them. In the meantime, let's talk about this. Let's talk about uh, some of the fun places that people are thinking about for holiday travel because people are already booking them. Oh, yes. And actually, a lot of holiday destinations are actually even sold out already. But one of the fun places, if you're looking for something different, is the Christmas markets in Europe. The European holiday Christmas markets are amazing. And considering some of the river cruises going down through Germany and Switzerland, uh, and they set up these towns, it's absolutely beautiful for to enjoy the holidays. So that's one. Also looking at, uh, of course, that we've got the Caribbean, whether you do a cruise or uh, going simply to uh, a resort uh, in the Caribbean, those are always nice for people looking for something warm to do. Uh, there's really all kinds of places to consider, even Quebec or a ski vacation. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are some great options. Okay, so uh, some of those places, of course, you're gonna have to use your passport, right? Um, so yes. like, if, even if you go on a cruise, you still need your passport. Yes. So what is exciting is this has just been announced that if you already have a passport and maybe even if it recently expired, you can now renew it online. I would do it immediately because they are saying six to eight weeks, there's no expediting, but you don't have to go set up an appointment with the post office to get it done. Ooh, that's really nice. So yeah. no <laughs> having to go somewhere, you just do it online. Hmm, this is good. Okay, um, let's talk about this. Someone's asking if we're thinking about a train trip, should we also look into travel insurance? Absolutely. Again, weather is the big one of the biggest keys there that you want to consider on your train because, you know, the weather, of course, does affect the train tracks and affects that. Also, your health. And that is what people don't really consider. We all go, oh, I'm healthy, but you just don't know. Mm -hmm. All right, somebody's asking about like a best value to stay in Bermuda. Should they go the resort side? Should they go the Airbnb side? What are some pros and cons there? So really, as far as there are really no all inclusives in Bermuda per se. I think there's one or two um, Airbnbs. I do always suggest being very cautious. There is no recourse with an Airbnb. So I truly recommend going in for, um, you know, find a nice hotel, but just know that it's probably not going to be an all inclusive. Gotcha. OK, um, and let's talk about this. Let's talk about spring break, because maybe that's a little bit further out. Maybe that's something that people can actually think about because holidays, they like to stay at home. What about some spring break destinations? Spring break fun. So some of the great spring breaks, of course, again, we're going to go back to the Caribbean, which is always nice. Uh, Croatia is gorgeous. Croatia and Costa Rica both um, gorgeous during the spring break time frame. So those would be some of my top choices. And there's or some Iceland. direct flights. I forgot about Iceland. Oh, and Iceland. Yeah, there's some direct flights to Costa Rica that you can do, and it's not too bad. All right, um, we're going to take a quick break. We've got more of your questions when we come back, and we'll see you in just a few minutes.